Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how certain diseases can be treated using antibiotics. You should then be able to describe what's meant by antibiotic resistance and why that's a problem. In a previous video we saw that many diseases are caused by bacteria. Good examples include salmonella food poisoning and gonorrhea. In many cases bacterial diseases are extremely unpleasant and they can be fatal. Until the 1940s, many people died from bacterial diseases. However, around that time, scientists discovered the first antibiotic, which is called penicillin. These days, the use of antibiotics means that most bacterial diseases are treatable. Antibiotics such as penicillin kill infective bacteria inside the human body without harming body cells. Now, there is a problem with antibiotics. This is called antibiotic resistance, and we're going to look at that now. Several years ago, doctors discovered that certain antibiotics were no longer effective against certain bacteria. That's because antibiotics had been overused. That meant that the bacteria had evolved, so they're no longer killed by the antibiotic. Scientists call this antibiotic resistance. Now, antibiotic resistance is a serious problem. It's possible that in the future, bacterial diseases will become very difficult to treat. We'll be looking at antibiotic resistance in more detail in a later video. There are a couple of other points about antibiotics that you need to learn. Firstly, doctors are careful when prescribing antibiotics. They always use specific antibiotics to treat specific bacteria. Secondly, antibiotics cannot kill viruses. That's why doctors will not prescribe antibiotics for conditions that may be caused by a virus. For example, certain types of sore throat. One type of drug that doctors will prescribe is painkillers. Painkillers treat the symptoms of a disease by relieving pain. However, medicines such as painkillers do not kill pathogens. In other words, they do not treat the disease itself. Now, as we said before, antibiotics cannot kill viruses. Remember that viruses live and reproduce inside human cells. Because of this, it's difficult to develop drugs that kill viruses without also damaging the body's tissues. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on antibiotics in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how certain diseases can be treated using antibiotics. You should then be able to describe what's meant by antibiotic resistance and why that's a problem.